I thank you, Brian. For the first time since mid-November, Ohio had fewer than 3,000 people hospitalized for COVID-19. The Miami Valley is currently experiencing a sharp decline in COVID hospitalizations as well. Two News reporter Caroline Morse is live after talking with health leaders about what's causing this dramatic change. The health leaders I spoke with say they are cautiously optimistic to see hospitalization rates falling so quickly, but warn residents this is not the time to let their guard down. I'm optimistic that this is the kind of our first real big kind of step into becoming endemic as opposed to pandemic. Hopes are high among health leaders as COVID hospitalizations decline by 49% across the state. Uh, typically in a pandemic, we talk about the pandemic curve going up and then coming down. Well, uh, with Omicron, we're seeing more of a triangle. Uh, you see a sharp incline and a sharp decline. Health leaders say Omicron's replication value is nearly triple deltas. They estimate one Omicron positive person could spread it to eight others, while one delta positive person could transfer it to only two people, all contributing to the triangle pattern. We have an increase in immunizations. We have an increase in natural immunity. We have, uh, you know, some better ways of treating this. Uh, Omicron was uh, a lot less uh, kind of harmful if you, you know, overall from a population standpoint, it uh, presented a lot like the common cold at times. Patterson says Clark County's case rate average has decreased by 50% in the last week alone. But with upcoming Super Bowl parties, we may see some bumps in the road. We'll probably see some little bumps on the way down the hill. So we'll probably see some folks who go to these parties and then the next three to five days get Omicron. Uh, but remember, that's a diminishing number of people who can get it now because so many people have already been infected. Both Clark County Combined Health District and Premier Health received National Guard members. Clark County's Guard members will be staying at least until February 18th to help with COVID testing. Premier Health says their Guard members don't have an end date quite yet. Live in studio, Caroline Morse, 2 News working for you.